Happy April Fools, everyone, and happy quarantine day number whatever day it is. So in this video, I'm actually just going to be making some Canadian pancakes. And what makes them Canadian? The fact that I'm making them in Canada. I definitely do not have a plan really for this video. I just thought making pancakes would be kind of fun to do. I really enjoy them, and I know that there's a running long joke in the RTS community with pancakes, so I just decided to run with it. Now, what are some other truly Canadian things? Well, everyone kind of associates Canada with igloos. They associate us with polar bears. They associate us with plaid shirts and maple syrup, uh, beaver tails. And probably the most Canadian thing out there is saying sorry way too many times, because I'm sure if you've ever met a Canadian, you probably heard it at least five times within a single conversation. And I guess in this video, I can also clarify some other Canadian things, or at least things you think are Canadian. For example, hockey is not our national sport. It's actually lacrosse. Basketball, a sport that I love, was actually invented by a Canadian. Uh, there are a number of Canadians who actually do say A. I'm one of them, I say A a lot, actually and I know it can be kind of annoying, so sorry to anyone who's had to be subjected to all my A's. What else can I say about Canada? Well, I guess we do have bad winters sometimes, but Canada is a very big location. It's a big place. So a lot of our temperatures are very similar to the temperatures in the United States, and I don't think people always understand that. And now, back to the pancakes. I decided to be a little creative with my pancakes just because I could. So I ended up putting Link right into my pancakes and made a nice thick stack of pancakes. Now unfortunately you guys aren't getting the maple syrup drip because I do not really eat a lot of syrup on my pancakes, which I guess makes me less Canadian? Question mark? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy April Fool's Day.